So today we are doing Observation Peak in the Icefields Parkway. And I'm right across from this sign here, which is where you turn into Pato Lake, uh, the big parking area and stuff. Right across from the Pato Lake turnoff, there's this little gravel road, which only goes down about 100 meters or so. And this is the area that you want to just park in. Just left the parking lot. We are just following, I believe I downloaded Matthew Hobbs uh, GPX track for this, so we are following this to the summit of Observation Peak. So just keep going all the way down this logging road and you'll get to a cairn on the right hand side here, just kind of by a tiny little flowing creek. Path continues on the other side. Well, there's where we're headed. And just Head up the well-worn trail on the right-hand side of the drainage. Beautiful day. Paid a lake a bit now. Another couple behind us. And this is where the track kind of veers, where the start getting some of the walls in the canyon. The trail is just going to head up right here. So we can gain the ridge kind of up by that big rock there. Well, we'll head up and gain the ridge up on the right over here. Well, we just decided to head up the gully system, the right hand side. A couple ahead of us has done it before, so this is the way they came. So we are at this kind of gray slab. We were thinking of going up here and then go up the ridge to gain by that cliff band that you traverse. Or we're debating just going up a little farther to that next drainage and then head up. We took this drainage here basically and then scrambled up climbers left onto this ridge and then we'll have to see up there. I'm not sure if we have to go left to right at the base of that cliff band. I'm pretty sure that's what I think you have to do but we'll find out. I'm thinking if we would have taken the farther drainage on skiers left. Maybe that would have been the proper one, but hopefully we can get, still get there. I'm kind of thinking these are the cliff bands if you take the drainage that we did. We've got to traverse across this base to get back to that side and go up. I think we might have to. Spence is just back there. Well, we kind of just got through around that. There's a real nasty loose drainage here we can go up, which I think is where we're headed. I think we probably should have just kept going straight up instead of traversing. I think it's probably we could have just gotten off flat at the top but because we didn't know we traversed and my GPS was doing some funny things so it looks like we'll just scramble up this loose stuff here's Spence coming up the gully system that was just on the other side of that uh, cliff wall 
that we traversed. If you just continue going straight to the top, you'd get presented with this guy here for a down climb. Um, I think it can be done for sure, but you know, I don't think everyone's accustomed to that kind of exposure level all the time. And you do have a drop off on this side, so it'd be a little bit of a tricky down climb for sure. Although maybe you could come over here. I don't really know. Like I said, we traversed that cliff band and then came up the gully system. Uh, climbers left. Wow, stunning views in here. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, beautiful color. Very loose rock though. Spence is coming up the never-ending shale. <laughs> Our summit's over there. We just got to get up here and then hang a left on a nice flat, easy ridge walk. Oh, never ending scree grind. But we're nearly done this elevation on the first one, and we'll lose a little over there to get up. Wow, look at some of these beautiful peaks here. We're not at the summit yet, but we're, we are at standing at about 10,020 feet. There's Spence. All we got to do is mosey on over to there. long now. Boy, it's an imp pretty, pretty impressive looking cornice budding up to the summit here. Wow. That's fantastic. Wow, that's stunning. Look at those views. How's it going? Yeah, massive cornice up here. Awesome. Wow. Well, Spence, time to head down. Do you want to write our names in or we're too cold to care? No, not everyone. All right. Silent registers there. Time to head down. Kind of neat to walk on this, eh, Spence? Yeah. It's kind of red, brown, green kind of rock. It's very soft.